Welcome to another edition of the Dynamic Show and View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with breaking news as it concerns TNA's negotiations with Spike TV. Are they out of a deal? Are they in the deal? Is the deal coming to them? What is their future? What is the projection? There's been a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, a lot of manipulation, so to speak. TNA president Dixie Carter released a statement today announcing that Impact Wrestling will remain on Wednesday nights on Spike TV as opposed to the Thursday nights through the end of the year. She said Impact Wrestling will remain a vital part of Spike TV's programming on Wednesday nights 9-8 Central through the end of the year. Carter said negotiations remain ongoing beyond this time frame. Boy, Spike TV must really love TNA because we're all banking that this was going to be the death, that this was going to be the end. And once again, just when you think TNA is dead, gone, and buried, they rise up from the ashes. But you got to ask the question, how many more times can they keep on rising above? You just have to assume that TNA is running on borrowed time. Okay, so that's great. I'm glad. That, hey, listen, I'm not looking for TNA to go out of business one day, I thought that they could be legitimate competition to the WWE. But you know what? That thought process has kind of went out the window. That's kind of dwindled over the last several years, especially the way TNA has performed their creative writing, um, bad checks, superstars getting fired, uh, a whole bunch of uh, drama going on behind the scenes. The product has just suffered. Not to say the WWE product hasn't suffered because it has. But I think the T TNA has had a lot more negatives and downfalls than the WWE over the last several years. I mean, TNA could have le legitimately been competition maybe in 2004, 5, 6, 7, perhaps even 8. But after that, when Hogan and Bischoff came in and the whole thing just... And then you get this whole thing with Vince Russo. Is he working for him? Is he against him? Is he for him? Is he really with them? Is he getting paid by them? There's just all these things that were built up. Listen, I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm not the biggest TNA fan. I, okay, I'll admit, I don't watch TNA all the time, although a lot of my subscribers wish I did. Fact of the matter is this. TNA is on borrowed time. TNA still is probably shuffling. Their feathers are probably still ruffled because they realize that when the year, when the end of the year is done and with the way days go by so fast nowadays, they realize that they're living on borrowed time because if Spike TV doesn't work out, then what are they going to be, an internet exclusive? Are they going to be on the internet every single week? Ladies and gentlemen, TNA still needs to work out a few things. TNA needs to show that, you know, maybe being on a new day in a new time slot, maybe that will change. Maybe TNA can refocus their energy. Maybe this is part of a bigger process. Maybe TNA has, uh, you know, what it takes to get the job done. You know, let's see what happens moving to a new night. Let's see if they can reestablish themselves. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.